This is better be good. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Billy Bolton and I'm here today unboxing the May, June, whatever month this is, comic block. Um, this is from the Nerd Block family of items, a company that has not been impressing me much lately at all. I enjoyed comic block before when it was comics and it was $13.99 and it was nice. Um, but now they're adding, uh, like, figures and things like that, and I feel like it's taking away from the idea of the comics. I understand this is a lot, what more people wanted out of it, but I do think it's taking a little bit away from the original intent of having something for comics. So, with that said, um... There is, there are some stakes for this box. Uh, I am considering canceling this just because I've not been impressed with it lately. Um, my only reason for not canceling is because I think I know something that's going to be in the next one and I'm kind of excited about it. But, for now, we're going to go through this one and just kind of see what's in it. And, uh, hopefully it doesn't suck that bad. So... First thing is is a Dorbs. This is the Penguin from the Batman series. Um, super common, but I like that they went out and did something other than like just a common Funko Pop. They went and did a common Dorb. Um, this nets almost nothing in resale, um, but. You know, I've actually not really looked at him up close before. I, he's kind of detailed pretty well. Um, the monocle has a, a little beaded thing on the side of it that's pretty cool. It's got a lot of nice detail to it. So, I mean, I'm not totally unhappy with this. Um, I'll add him to the collection, but I don't know how long he'll stay. So, Dorb. Penguin Dorb. I'm not a big Batman person either, that's the thing. Alright, there's a shirt, and another thing. Let's go with the other thing. <laughs> okay, the more Funko. Alright, these are the uh, Avengers Wacky Wobblers figures. It's harder to see with the light the way it is. But yeah, there's Iron Man, Cap, Hulk, and Thor. Um, just how they are in Age of Ultron, and these are little bobbleheads. Um, that's not bad. It's not, I mean, I like something like this. This is nice, um, because this is, um, multiple, like a multi-set thing that you can, that you can use. I, I like this. This is nice. So, uh, good job on that one. Comic block, good job. Okay, the shirt. I've always had an issue with Nerd Block and their shirts um, just because they use the heavy cotton Gildan and it's terrible. But here's the shirt. And the shirt is cool. Oh man, that is a cool shirt. I, I dig this shirt a lot, actually. Um, so it's an Apocalypse Now um, parody with Apocalypse from X-Men on it. That is super cool, actually. I am, I'm definitely going to wear that. I am impressed with that shirt. That is awesome. Hopefully that does not shrink as much as the others do. Um, the problem, the biggest problem that I have is that these are 100% cotton and 100% cotton shrinks to where you can wear it once or twice. I gotta stay in frame. Once or twice. And, uh, yeah. But, that is an awesome shirt. Okay. On to the comics. Last month we got two, and this month we have two. First one is Tank Girl. Um, number one. 
from Titans, Titan Comics. Uh, cool, two girls, one tank. That is awful. Two girls, one tank. Okay. I've never read Tank Girl, um, but I know people who've said that it's really great. So this will be this will be nice to actually get a chance to read that. I appreciate that. Good job. And all right, this was another another beef that I had last month with this block is that there were no exclusive covers. Um, and this is the Punisher. This is a nerd or comic block exclusive cover variant. So that is cool. I was thinking about picking up a new Punisher series, so I'm glad I did not do that yet. Um, so I will definitely check that out as well. Cool. Um, overall, this was not terrible. Um, I would still only give it probably about a two and a half, maybe a three, close, close to three, but two and a half. Um, like I said, I'm kind of excited about next month because I think um, they're going to have an exclusive comic cover for Bebop, Bebop and Rocksteady Destroy Everything. Um, the only way that I know this, or that I think I know this, is I was looking at the comic in the shop today, the Bebop and Rocksteady Destroy Everything comic. And on the back it shows you all the variant covers since it's the number one. And one of the variant covers has the comic block logo on it. So... I have a feeling that that will be one of the items in next month's comic block. So I'm probably going to still keep it one more month just to get that. Um, I think there's also Spider-Gwen in next month, which, I mean, I don't know anything about Spider-Gwen, but she seems cool. So, um, yeah, comic block. Well, let me just make sure that's everything because, yeah, just cards. Cards are the rest of it. So, um, let's go back through everything you got. I'm doing a terrible job. The four Funko bobbleheads. The Dorbs figure. The Tank Girl variant cover. So, this is an exclusive variant. Um, so, that's cool. Punisher number one variant. And then the Apocalypse t-shirt so that is cool so I'm, I'm good with all with the three exclusive items that came the other two not so much but I'm also not a big Funko fan um, and then there's this which is in everything and then next month it says an exclusive item from the Punisher so another Punisher exclusive um, and then Next month, they're going to feature Spider-Gwen and Ultimate Spider-Man. So that's not as cool. Ultimate Spider-Man kind of sucks. I'm going to go ahead and go on a limb here. If they're saying there's an exclusive Punisher item, I'm going to say it's probably not another comic. So it's probably a t-shirt. So t-shirt will probably be Punisher. Um, they don't usually get exclusive figures in the comic block. If you're going to get an exclusive from Nerd Block, it's going to come in the classic block, usually. So, um, I'm going to say probably a t-shirt for a Punisher item, and then there will probably be the exclusive Bebop and Rocksteady comic as well. So overall, like I said, not a bad box. Good job, Comic Block. Um, you live to see one more month with me. Um, so until, until next time, have a good one.